Welcome to this One Place Mail screencast demonstrating seamless Outlook to SharePoint connectivity. This screencast extends the previous introduction to One Place Mail screencast to show more sophisticated Outlook to SharePoint integration examples, such as dragging and dropping emails to SharePoint and completing the SharePoint column information directly from Outlook, including enterprise keywords and managed metadata, dragging and dropping attachments and demonstrating the powerful upload window provided by One Place Mail, and also sending and saving emails directly to SharePoint. In our first demonstration, I will drag and drop three emails to the document library. But first, let's take a quick look at the behavior we have defined for uploading items to this document library. As you can see, we have defined the library to use the Upload Location and Edit Properties option. Therefore, when transferring emails, attachments, or documents to this library, one place mail will request the user to complete SharePoint column information at the point of upload. You will also notice the Upload Results window has not been suppressed. I will close this window and demonstrate dragging and dropping emails to the document library. Upon selecting one or more emails, I can simply drag and drop the emails and select Move or Copy. One Place Mail will automatically capture all the email attributes, such as To, From, Subject, etc., and will also capture the Conversation ID if using Outlook 2010. I will select Copy. One Place Mail will now request the user to complete the Destination SharePoint Library column information. The Destination Library for which we dragged and dropped emails has been selected. If the library contains folders, One Place Mail will present the folder tree for you to file into. The library folder tree has been designed to perform extremely well within libraries containing very large folder structures. It is also quite smart, remembering the last folder location you filed to previously, therefore saving you valuable time. I can view the contents of the folder by selecting View Selected Folder Content. This will show me the content for the location in SharePoint. If I have access and need to perform any other operation prior to filing, such as creating a new folder, I can also achieve this without leaving Outlook. You'll notice the folder is immediately available for me to select and file into. Let's take a look at the column information to be completed. We can select from one or more content types. For this example, I will simply file into the project documents content type. The columns for the library and selected content type are displayed for the user to complete. Default values and required columns are enforced to ensure this information is completed correctly and in an efficient manner. If you're using SharePoint 2010, the Enterprise Keywords and Manage Metadata columns are available for efficient filing based on your terms and taxonomy store. One Place Mail supports full type ahead from the terms and taxonomy store, including support for multilingual term stores, therefore allowing type ahead in German, French and any other language included in the term store appropriate for your organisation. The One Place Mail type ahead has been designed to perform and tested on more than 50,000 terms and continues to perform exceptionally well. The Manage Metadata provides the type ahead support and also the ability to select terms using the Term Store Picker. One Place Mail supports custom sorting you may have to find for your terms, such as days of the week. This powerful upload process, including the Enterprise Keywords and Manage Metadata, is available to Outlook 2003, 2007, and 2010 users. It is also available from other desktop applications such as Word, Excel and PowerPoint 2003, 2007 and 2010 or from Windows Explorer. On the Edit Files tab, you can view the emails or documents to be transferred to SharePoint. By default, One Place Mail performs duplicate checking of emails. You also have the option to rename the files. Let's upload these emails to SharePoint by clicking Upload. The emails are now transferred to SharePoint, saved in their native .msg format with all the automatically captured email attributes captured and additional column information we have just entered during the upload process. The Upload Results window now displays the results of the upload process. We can also view or edit any of the items to perform any post-upload actions, such as starting a workflow or completing further column information. I will close this window and have a look at the results in SharePoint. The emails are now available within SharePoint and all the email attributes and additional column information that you have completed is available with the SharePoint columns. You can use this information for creating different views and for searching within your SharePoint solutions. In addition to email, One Place Mail also supports dragging and dropping specific attachments from an email into a SharePoint library or list. Let's take two attachments. 
from an email and drag and drop them into the SharePoint document library. The email attributes of the email the attachments came from are automatically captured. And for this library, the user is requested to complete the additional filing information. You will notice the folder within the library has been remembered from the last upload process to this specific library. If I would like to file these attachments to a different location, for example, if they were pictures, I could select the picture library. The columns for the picture library are now presented to the user to complete, including lookup lists, where OnePlace Mail conveniently provides the ability to create new list items on the fly if you have access to do so. Or you can select from any other SharePoint location by clicking Select Other Destination. The SharePoint sites and libraries are securely trimmed. For this demonstration, I'll retain the document library. I can choose to file these attachments into a different content type, such as Financial Report, and the appropriate columns for the content type are displayed, including the default values. If I select a different folder, you will notice the report frequency default value changes. This is utilising the SharePoint 2010 default folder values. OnePlace Mail also supports list level validation within SharePoint 2010. You simply create the list level validation and it will work in OnePlace Mail without any configuration. Prior to uploading, you could also click on the Edit Files tab to change the names of any of the files being uploaded. I'll click on the Upload button to transfer these files to SharePoint. We can now view the results either through the web browser or directly via Outlook, where you have the full power of SharePoint available such as the Ribbon or Action menu. For example, I can select the Actions menu for the Excel spreadsheet we just transferred to SharePoint and access various options including the email as attachment provided by OnePlace Mail. I will select email as attachment which creates a new email and adds the Excel spreadsheet automatically. In this email, I can add additional attachments and OnePlace Mail will ask if I would like to transfer the file to SharePoint and replace it with a link inside the email. This is an optional feature and I will select no on this occasion. OnePlace Mail provides a send and save button. This allows you to conveniently send and save emails directly to SharePoint. OnePlace Mail also integrates with the standard send button provided by Outlook, therefore not needing to retrain users to promote the saving of emails to SharePoint. I will click send and OnePlace Mail will ask if I would like to save this email to SharePoint. I will select yes. The familiar filing window appears and allows me to profile this email. I can complete the column information as required and go back to SharePoint to see the sent email within the shared library. I'll complete this information and click on upload. This email is now available inside the SharePoint library. Thank you for watching this screencast showing the seamless Outlook to SharePoint functionality provided by OnePlace Mail. In this screencast you have seen filing one or more emails to SharePoint, completing additional column information at the point of upload, filing attachments into SharePoint, and sending and saving emails directly to SharePoint. In the next screencast, you will see sending one or more files to SharePoint from Windows Explorer using the right click send to, and also saving documents from Word, Excel and PowerPoint 2003, 2007 and 2010 directly into SharePoint.